Devane Amal College for Women. Learn, live, and lead. Warm welcome, everyone. So I am Dr. E. Mutraja, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, Devane Amal College for Women, Milpura. Today we are going to see about the topic of light emitting diode, the short form of LED. Construction of LED. So LED consists of chip of semiconductor material doped with impurities to create a p-n junction. So semiconductor material is common to so all kind of the electronic devices. So day to day life, so without the electronics, we could not imagine the all the electronics equipments and electronic industry. Here I am showing the LED structure. The LED is normally having the two different kind of leads. The one is anode, another one is cathode. Here I mentioned here the anode is a positive terminal and cathode is a negative terminal. And also it is having very strong outer layer. The glass layer is mounted on the LED. The chips are mounted in the reflecting tray in order to increase the light output. The contacts are made on the cathode side by means of conductive, adhesive and on the anode side via gold wire to the lead frame. So, the plastic case includes the chips area of the lead frame. Semiconductor materials normally having two different kind of types, one is N type, another one is P type. Here I am showing the periodic table and structure diagram also. This type of semiconductor is obtained when a pentavalent material like arsenic is added to pure silicon crystal. Here I am showing N type. So each arsenic atom forms covalent bonds with the surrounding four germanium atoms with the help of four of its five electrons. Here I am showing arsenic and the silicon also is there. In the structure diagram clearly I am showing here. The fifth electron is superfluous and is loosely bound to the arsenic atom. So here I am given the example for the arsenic. The except the arsenic, the various kind of the elements is there. So this is a working principle. So when the negative end of the circuit is hooked up to the N type layer and the positive end is hooked up with the P type layer. So then electron and holes are start moving. Here I am showing the electron flow in the uh, circuit. So battery terminal also I am given here. The holes and electron so both are attracted. Here the processing is happened. So no current flow. When it happened the no current flow. Uh, the opposite direction will be connected, no current flow does not happen. So if you are try to run current the other way with the P type side is connected to the negative end of the circuit and the N type side connected to the positive end. So current will not flow. So no current flow across the junction because the holes and the electrons. So the it is moving for wrong direction so automatically current does not so LED, so LED is working principle is very important here. So see the p-n junction uh, structure also I am given here. So when the current flow across the, yeah, the, the previous slide I have explained how uh, the current will be connect and does not connect everything I, I explained the previous slide. Here also I am showing here the negative electrons moves one way and positive holes move the other way. So this all the process is based on the p-n junction process only. So, p-n junction is very very important in the semiconductor process. So, this uh, one more diagram, the holes, the holes exit at their lower energy level than the free electrons. Here the positive, uh, the positive symbol is there, negative symbol is there, the positive symbol it is represented for the holes and negative symbol it is represented for the electrons. So, therefore, when a free electron falls, it loses the energy. So, uh, the process is happened in the LED. So, see here, the, what is the difference between the previous slide and here? You can easily identify from the structure itself. This energy is emitted in your form of photon, which causes light. So, the color of the light is determined by the fall of the electron and hence energy level of the photon. 
Red and orange have the wavelength 610 and 620 and uh, typical efficiency 98 and uh, green efficiency 520, 550 and, uh, and uh, 490 to 520 and uh, blue and 460, 490. These all kind of the colors LEDs is marketly and commercially available. Then this is the types of LED. So, LED having different kind of types. Uh, the LEDs are produced with the varied of the shapes and size also is there and the color of the plastic lines. Uh, is often the same of the actual color of the light emitter. So, you can see the different kind of LED and the various kind of the applications. So, this is the types of LEDs, so modern high power LEDs and uh, such as those used for lighting and backlighting are generally is found as a surface mount technology if you can call for short form SMT. So, what kind of LED is there? Traditional inorganic LEDs and multicolor LED and bicolor and tricolor uh, then organic LED miniature and uh, so traditional inorganic LEDs. So this type of the this type of LEDs is a manufacture from the inorganic materials. Normally you know you, you know uh, actually organic materials is there, inorganic material is there, and semi-organic materials also is there. So traditional inorganic LEDs uh, they are manufactured from the especially for inorganic materials. Inorganic material lot of materials is there. So some of the more widely used are compound semiconductor such as aluminum, gallium and arsenate and gallium arsenate and phosphate it mean uh, and many more. So, this kind of the material inorganic material especially they are manufactured for the traditional inorganic high power LEDs. Next one multi color LEDs you can see this kind of LEDs in the so many advertisement boards. Uh, uh, say for example, they are using for nowadays uh, front of the bus also they are using this kind of the multicolor LED. So, two different LED emitters in one case, only one LED is there, it is emit for different kind of colors. So, there are two types of these. So, one type consists of two dyes connect to the same two color type of light. Another one current flow in one direction, direction emits one color and current in the opposite direction emits the other color. The both uh, example I have in the, the picture is shown here, organic light emitting diode. This is the latest upgrade technology. So, one and a half year back actually Samsung introduced for one organic LED light emitting display they are uh, came in the market, they are introduced. The folding phone they are uh, published in the uh, Samsung industry and Motorola also they are published for flexible display and some OLED TV also came in the market. Uh, so, in the future definitely will develop as a fold type of the mobile phone will come. It is mean not a fold type of fold display. So, OLED mostly used display technology, computer monitors, television and mobile phone screen also. I told and two major companies Samsung and Motorola they are introduced a mobile phone. Right now, currently uh, it is available in the market. So, organic light emitting diode actually the OLED, the semiconductor, these all the things, all kind of the LED is a manufacturer under, it will, it will come under the semiconductors only. So, semiconductor is an OLED is organic which means it is contained the carbon. So, see the structure OLED structure here. So, what are the different kind of, it is like a sandwich. So, a different kind of structure is there. So, anode or substrate and the top of the portion cathode is there. So, the OLED uses one of two polymers or small molecules. So, very upgrade latest technology definitely it will occupy for the future technology in the electronic industry. So, miniature. So, miniature surface mount LEDs in most common sizes. So, they can much smaller than traditional phi mm lamp type LED. So, very very small, but efficiency is more. The power consumption also very very less actually. You can uh, see the so many application electronic applications they are using and implementing. So, see the power consumption here below that I mentioned here 1.9 to 2.1 voltage volt for red, orange, yellow that kind of color is occupying this much of voltage only and green and blue and 3 to 3.4 voltage and violet, pink, purple and white 2.9 to 4.2 volt only very very less it is consumed of uh, less than 5 volt only is very very useful for us. Then high power 
So for example, uh, this is the one series and uh, uh, Creek XP G series LED achieved for 1.5 lumens and per watt uh, in 2009 they are introduced actually this is a very very high power LED. So, the LED efficiency is here very low power LED also is there very high power LED also so this is one of the example this is a photograph diagram actually uh, actually that kind of uh, electronics components. So, in the 19 series is typically uh, efficiency of 140 lumens per watt in 2010 uh, they are introduced actually these two actually uh, very high power LED in the market. So, nowadays uh, the more power LED also is, is came. So, I am talking about is the first first introduced actually 2009 and later on that they are introduced 2010 on more LED model. These are the comparison for the LED, CFL and halogen and uh, previously uh, on 10 years back they everybody they are using for the uh, CFL uh, bulb. So, the power consumption here lifetime see the lifetime compared to the CFL and LED lifetime is more more high actually compared to the CFL having the LED uh, 20,000 hours this approximately we are calculated here halogen bulb they are using for the 1000 hours. Nowadays halogen bulb they are using for uh, and, uh, motor vehicle. Uh, for the uh, uh, light purpose they are using for halogen bulb but nowadays all the vehicles for upgrade to the LED then what how much watts it is for a consume and uh, what is the price it is coming LED little high compared to the CFL and halogen but uh, the working efficiency and power consumption everything very very less compared to the CFL and halogen. Then uh, total cost will come for actually uh, in a year how much will come. Uh, see this. This is the one uh, funding comparison, and see the picture this side and left side. Uh, left side, and previously they are using for yellow color bulb. Everybody, they everyone they are using for the yellow color bulb. That time the newly CFL is came to the, in the market. Then after that nowadays the CFL is uh, going away. LED is occupy for all kind of the electronic industry as well as our day to day applications. So, these are the application so LED uses fall into the three main categories they are using indicator purpose they are using indicators and signals and lighting and data communication and other signaling. So, indicator and signal I told actually nowadays the motor industry uh, they are using for the car and bike and uh, everywhere they are using for the LED purpose for indicator purpose they are using for the LED because of the LED the efficiency is very more and power consumption also very 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 less. So, that purpose only uh, they are using for the motor industry uh, both two wheeler and four wheeler and traffic signal uh, you can see easily the traffic signal they are using for the LED and very low energy consumption as I told and low maintenance and small size of the LEDs as LED to use as status indicators and displays on the variety of the equipments and installation indicating purpose. So, not only for the car and uh, automobiles industry. It is having lot of electronics uh, equipments and electronics uh, uh, module they are using for the LEDs. So, see the say example they are given here. So, used as stadium airports and railway stations and trains and buses and trams and uh, ferries etcetera. There is lot of application is there. A lighting, yes. Nowadays the market uh, commercially is available so many application uh, the torch and bulb itself is came so many smart bulb is came with the LED and these are the example for home light and home torch different kind of shapes and different kind of power it is having actually. Then advantages and disadvantages of the LED so advantages very very more so efficiency first of all efficiency LEDs emit more lumens per watt then incandescent light bulbs. So, efficiency of is not affected by shape and size unlike fluorescent light bulbs or tubes. So, and compared to the tube light is more more efficiency this one is so not a harmful for the environment for LED. Then color, so LED can emit light of the intent and color without using any color filters as traditional lighting methods need. So, easily available mini colors in the LED. So, size so LED can be very very small 
So, see that is very very small size less, less than 2 mm size also is available in the market. I hope this video is very useful to you. Thank you.